Hey everyone, it's Leanne, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own panda curry rice dish just in time for Kung Fu Panda 3. For vegetables, you'll be needing some broccoli and potatoes, and what you see here is just some mashed potatoes that I've lined up to create a little barrier so the curry didn't spill all over the place, and it looks like a little pond for the pandas. I also boiled some broccoli and used the mashed potatoes to keep them standing like trees. If you don't have panda molds, that's okay, I have these circular looking ones, and that's enough to make the body. You just shove the rice in there, and then shake shake shake, and then there's the body shape. So here I kept a big piece of potato to serve as a boulder for my panda to lie on, and then because I didn't have any round molds, I just used surround wrap to make the head, and really you can use surround wrap to mold the body as well if you don't have anything in the house you can use as a mold. Then I took some pieces of seaweed and started cutting them to give my rice balls the signature black and white panda look and its cute little faces. For the ears, I just scrunched up bits of seaweed into balls, and then I cut out some strips for eyes so it looks like the pandas are chilling and taking a little afternoon nap. This curry is instant curry mix, and other than boiling the vegetables and cooking the rice, the whole process is really easy. Feel free to get creative with where you want to put the little pandas and trees and make your own panda scenery. This turned out super cute even without a lot of fancy tools, so I hope you try this at home before or after you watch Kung Fu Panda 3. That's it for today's video, see you next time, bye!